Welcome back to the Crypto Labs YouTube channel. Quick message, quick conversation. Was just having this chat with someone in the community. DeFi has spoiled us and we have to give our head a shake sometimes. I'm seeing people be like, what? It's only 200% returns. I consider myself an investor. Invest in myself, invest in businesses, and also invest in things that will appreciate. And to me, DeFi is kind of a hybrid between the two. It's like a business, but you're also investing in coins and tokens that can appreciate. And it far, it blows away any returns I've ever seen in anything else. Blows them away, especially when you take into account the time and the effort it takes. It blows it away. Probably the only thing that even comes close to the returns you can expect or you can earn in DeFi would be like acquisition, buying, selling businesses, which is a very complex process, or uh, taking companies public, which there's big money in that. Uh, but you better have millions and millions and tens and hundreds and billions of dollars to do so. That's for the elite, the elite groups who have access to that. When I first got into DeFi, this is just real talk. When I first got into DeFi and I saw that I could do 30 or 40% a year, I didn't know what I was doing, but I was just keeping it super safe, blue chip type stuff, even stable coin pools. When I saw that I could do 40%, I'm like, this is probably not real because that's impossible. And then I learned about DeFi and I was like, oh, you could do 40% all day long, easy, in your sleep. And then I started learning about 80%, 100%, 120%. Yield farming for 200% plus. There's opportunities where you can lend for two, 300%. And I think so many people in this space have just gotten spoiled and have lost touch with the reality, which is to me, anything over 100%, you're making Wall Street and the banks and the average, not the average, the very good investor, you're making them look like amateurs. That's just the truth. And I see people that are like, oh, well, I'm not earning a percent per day. I want a percent per day. I'm like, well, you gotta take on a ton of risk for that. It's totally doable, especially if there's a lot of volume and the markets are green, but it's not a long-term strategy. I say this, as much as I can, I aim for eight to 12% a month. And even then I have to give my, I have to like give my head a shake and be like, am I actually living in reality? So grateful that I discovered this opportunity. I find, and I'll end it with this. I'm just sharing some truth. I hope you can take it. Cause I'm just sharing truth here. I find that People who have entrepreneurial experience, a background in like starting and running businesses, or they've been investors in real estate or in maybe some other alternative assets or just in the stock market. When they start seeing and start realizing 80, 90, 100% returns, they're in awe. That's insane. And then I see people who crypto and DeFi has been like their only experience of investing. And it's so polluted and distorted with like the Dogecoin millionaires of the world who put in a thousand and now they have a million and everyone thinks they're gonna get the same return. That's, that's not investing, that's gambling. I have had small meme coin or small low cap stuff that was just sitting in my wallet. You don't do a 5X, 10X, 20X. But it's been luck. And like they say, the longer you're in this game, the more lucky you get because the more things your fingers are in, the more things are sitting around. And I logged into the bank and been like, oh, I totally forgot I own that. And it's up like 10X. Yes, those things happen. But it's luck, and timing, and you can't build an investment thesis and consistent returns, praying and hoping that something pumps. It's why I love yield farming. It's why I love true DeFi. Because with somewhat accuracy, I can predict my returns. I have a lot more control of my portfolio. And then if I wanna take those yields and invest them into some low cap, small cap stuff that I think might pump, fine. 
but, but we're spoiled. And I just want to keep sharing this message. I know this is probably the most, isn't the most sexy, attractive message because we're not talking about how to turn $10 into a billion dollars. But I want to keep it realistic and just remind us because I forget as well. I've been in positions that were paying me for months and I was like, ah, oh, it's only making me like 10% this month. When there's this other stuff that's doing like 10% per day. I'm like, hold up, Lucas, hold up. Are you in this for short term or long term? Uh, long term, okay. Give your head a shake. You used to be over the moon when you did 10 or 12% a year in your traditional investment portfolio. Now I can do that per month, mind blown. Let's keep it real. Don't chase the gambling stuff. The money is not in the meme coins. There's opportunity within it and it better be a small portion of your portfolio, but don't gamble it away. Statistically, most people who play this crypto and DeFi game, they lose. Over the long term, they lose because they get greedy and they start gambling and then they lose it all. You've got to just, it's like small, daily, incremental gains every single day. That's what pays. That's what pays. Just being super direct and honest, but that's like my truth. That is the truth when it comes to this game. All the meme coin pumps and the, hey, I turned $1,000 into $10 million. That's the exception, not the rule. And I wish you well if you're taking that strategy, but you're gambling, you're not investing. We'll just say it that way. That's all I got. Uh, dive into this channel, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and stay connected to this channel. I'm going to leave some videos up here and here and here and here. Uh, dive in, study up, spend an hour or two on this channel. And with that said, happy yield farming, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.